the polarization around environmental issues is extremely destructive. Um, the PPRC really embodies uh, the principles of sustainability in that they understand that businesses have to stay in business, people need jobs, the environment needs to be served, our products and our producers of our products need to be more competitive with overseas uh, manufacturers and uh, they are bringing all these pieces together uh, which is exactly what we should be doing uh, with sustainability and um, so they got that 20 years ago and they still get it and they're very well regarded uh, because of their wisdom. It, it turns out that figuring out how to solve day-to-day -day environmental problems, produce less pollution, and then disseminate that knowledge throughout the country and eventually the world, that's hard nitty-gritty work and somebody's got to do it. And it turns out PPRC's great at it and I hope for another 20 years they keep doing it. It's this notion of tying together the people who deliver pollution prevention as a service and the business community that oftentimes is the target for delivering that pollution prevention capability. PPRC is a trusted broker between all of them and I think it's really important to have that anchor uh, to help build that sense of technical community and professional community around. PPRC's biggest contribution has probably been to be that constant anchor. It's really remarkable how a team of, of a small staff that PPRC has has been able to touch our communities in the region in, in such a profound way. I mean, all the, all the executive directors over the years, you know, Chris Wiley, Paula Delgadis, Madeline Sten have been awesome to work with. I think it's important that we have such respect for each other, trust with each other, and partnering on so many different projects that, um, you know, it just feels like a really effective comfortable, productive, successful partnership. As board president now, I'd like to acknowledge that uh, there's been an enormous number of people who have really contributed a lot to the board at PPRC, people from all walks of life, and have and would really like to thank them for their service to the board, have really helped make this a vital organization and uh, set the stage for where we are now and where we will be going forward. PPRC really brings a, a fundamental shift in the way we think about environmental protection. They really play a key role in how we move towards a more sustainable society. And they help put those ideas into practice so that people can understand how to do this type of work, that they can overcome those barriers to behavior change, and really make a fundamental shift in the way we look at the environment, how we look at a vital economy, and look towards uh, future opportunities, which are really important, particularly in the Northwest, as we look for opportunities for new material science, green chemistry and engineering, and really promoting a uh, sustainability uh, future here in the Northwest. You know, one of the things PPRC can be most proud of is its work with Boeing. Boeing and all of its suppliers, they make up one of the biggest industries in the Northwest and in the world. And it turns out that doing metal fabrication and painting and other things that, that Boeing does can create a lot of pollution that's needed to make their airplanes. Well, PPRC got together with Boeing at a time long ago, 20 years ago, when it maybe wasn't so easy to get together and talk about your pollution. Boeing got together and opened up how they made their, their they did their metal fabrication, they built their planes, and turns out PPRC had the technical expertise to work with them and find ways to reduce the pollution in huge, huge amounts. So Boeing came out of it feeling great, PPRC came out of it feeling great, and all the regulators, all the people in the state felt great. So it's the kind of thing that you could never have imagined happening 30 years ago, and 20 years ago it was even then a little, you know, maybe edgy to, to have that kind of conversation between an industry and a nonprofit and then eventually the regulators and PPRC pulled it off. The thing I'm the most proud of is that uh, by being involved in that case study it helped us become an early adopter as an organization of layering in the environmental concerns with uh, lean manufacturing and identifying waste and it was exciting to know um, that we were helping get that message out, help other organizations 
learn how to identify waste through our case study and uh, it, was, it was an eye-opener for us. I think the sky's the limit and the opportunities we can present to each other in the future uh, to do more environmentally friendly things when it pertains to our business, maybe even other things with our terminals. Well, I feel great about it because it's helping spread the word. There's a lot of people who don't know about uh, eco-friendly businesses out there and I think we're just touching the tip of the iceberg. It makes me feel good that we help get to spread the word at all the local home and garden shows as well as the conventions and um, some of the other various social organizations that EcoBiz helps us with. I just appreciate um, PPRC's ability to help build and maintain and support and encourage a community of practice, a community of practitioners that you know can work with businesses in such an effective way. To my friends and colleagues, I would like to say terrific job for the last 20 years. This has been some really great successes. Uh, we've got a great staff, we've got a terrific uh, executive director, and I think the next 20 years hold terrific promise for uh, doing some, really making a difference in this region. I would like to congratulate PPRC on 20 years of excellent work in providing technical assistance and boots on the ground service to the business community here in the Pacific Northwest, helping businesses be more competitive and reduce their environmental impact. It's been great working with y'all, and I want to see another 20 years of success. It's been great to work with PPRC over the last 20 years. They've been a, you know, a leader in terms of the pollution prevention movement, and played really a critical role of uh, delivering information to the pollution prevention practitioners out there, as well as businesses throughout the region in the Pacific Northwest. It's really been an invaluable service and a great partner to have, particularly for an agency is trying to, you know, limited amount of resources. And so they really can leverage the work that we're trying to accomplish, uh, both in pollution prevention and sustainability. I wish I could say that, that it's taken just 20 years to, to solve all the environmental challenges that we have in the Northwest. And, and that's simply not the case, but we're looking forward to the next years of being able to, to serve as your partner here in the region to make your, your business and economic goals come true and also to, to, to make sure that this place where we live c continues to be uh, safe and clean and healthy. Not only have you been steadfast uh, defenders of the environment, uh, you have also been a joy to work with and I just hope the best for the PPRC in the next uh, 20 years and I hope you do as well. I know you do as well and um, let's get to it. <laughs>